After hours of drop-dead scenery, the California Zephyr arrives in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Glenwood Springs is the gateway to the ski area of Vail. It's a good place to get off and spend a night or two. After a brief look downstream, my wife and I crossed over Interstate 70 and the river to our hotel. Glenwood Springs is named for the naturally occurring hot springs here. Our hotel, the Hotel Colorado, is very much a part of today's hot springs experience, providing spacious pools for guests to soak in the hot spring water, plus a water slide for those wanting a little more action. The Hotel Colorado is one of those grand hotels with years of serving guests, so I was surprised that they offered rooms affordable to working people like us. We even saw a quilt commemorating its 100th anniversary. But we didn't spend much of our time in the hotel. There's too much to do outside, so we explored a bit of the Roaring Fork River Trail, the Colorado River, and the railroad itself. The Roaring Forks River has trails where the Rio Grande Railroad used to connect. The Colorado River hosted life for us to enjoy, and the railroad featured a small switching yard. From here, we saw this coal train rumble through town. Crossing the west, I was astounded by how much coal is being mined and shipped around the country. In 2008, the merger of Union Pacific and Southern Pacific was still evident. The Southern Pacific's bloody nose locomotive with Union Pacific lettering. During our 2008 trip, this was the first freight train to emerge from Glenwood Canyon, where a landslide had stopped the train that would have carried us west. This landslide gave us another day in Glenwood Springs. The waiting room at the station was practically deserted as we waited for hours for our train to get through and pick us up. <laughs> then it filled with eastbound passengers who couldn't go any further. What's that? We booked on the next day's train and got a decent night's sleep across from the station at this hotel. The following day, the eastbound California Zephyr pulled in and waited and waited, but then went through, much to our relief.
Next came the announcement we were waiting for. As you leave the station, please look around, make sure you have all of your personal belongings. And for your safety, please remain well behind the yellow line until the train comes to a complete stop. And here it came, the westbound California Zephyr. We joined the horde of stranded passengers boarding for the trip west. Folks, you need to talk to me right here. We looked out at the small city we enjoyed, but glad to be on our way. Crossing the Roaring Fork River. They call this the Roaring Fork River Valley. This is the Rio Colorado. This is the Colorado River. Here we learn that the horizontal band without snow on these mountains is where a fire burns uncontrolled in a coal mine. If our first time traveler to the west wanted to see a ranch, well here's one of many Colorado ranches to be seen from the train. If someone wanted to get a good sight of the West, they would probably feel more than happy with what the California Zephyr has shown them. But wait, there's even more great scenery ahead. <laughs> 